Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is problem solving. We're going to use the coordinate plane, the x and y axes. So this is uh, lesson 310 in our book. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com and then make sure you pick the 6th grade link. Um, uh, not the 6th grade for California, but the 6th grade link. And I show that in many of the uh, videos. Anyways, uh, there's our common core strand for our awesome teachers, and then uh, our essential question is, uh, how can we use the strategy, draw a diagram, uh, to help us solve a problem in the coordinate plane? Okay, so here's an example right here. So for a geometry project, Mr. Bullock is having his class build a dollhouse. He's making a plan on a computer uh, program that involves a coordinate plane with 0, 0 uh, located at the center of his computer screen. Okay, so his plan uh, has the house centered at a point at 4, 6. Okay, so remember, if 0, 0 is right here, then we go over 4, up 6. So that's where this house would be. Then he's going to move that house 10 units to the left and 12 units down. So what's the ordered pair of the dollhouse's new location? Okay. So here's some questions here. So what do we need to find? Well, this last part says we need to find ordered pairs right here for the dollhouse's new location right there, okay? The dollhouse started at the point, where'd that dollhouse start? It started at this point four six, okay? And then uh, then Mr. Bullock used uh, Mr. B. Uh, he moved it, whoops, I forgot to put moved right there. So he moved it um, uh, 10 units to the left and then 12 units down. Okay, so 10 units to the left and 12 units down. So we can draw a diagram to graph the information on a coordinate plane. We're going to do the X and Y axes here. Okay, so let's get started here. So we'll start by graphing the labeled point of 4, 6 right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph that. There's 4, 6 right there. These are going by 2, so here's 2, here's 4. Here's 2, 4, 6 right there. So there's the dollhouse's starting location right there. And then from this point, we're going to go uh, 10 units to the left right there. Okay, so let's go 10 units to the left. All right, so 10 units is 5 squares, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And then from there, we're going to go down uh, 12 units. So that's going to be 6 squares, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Okay, so uh, when we go down, um, let's go ahead and graph and label those points right there. Okay, so the new location looks like it's going to be at uh, negative 6, negative 6 right there. Okay, so let's answer the question. So the dollhouse's new location is located at negative 6, negative 6. Okay, let's try another one, you guys. Um, so explain how we can check that our answer is correct. Well, one way, instead of counting to the left uh, uh, and then going down, we can go down first and then to the left. So if we went down 12, so that's going to be 6 squares, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then go to the left 10, which is 5 squares. That's going to take us to that same spot right there. So you can just go both ways on that, okay? All right, so Bob uh, and Scott ride their bikes uh, home from school. Bob rides three blocks west, okay? So imagine, here, here's the starting point. Bob rides, rides three blocks west. West is to the left. And then three blocks south, okay? And then Scott rides four blocks east and then three blocks south, okay? All right, so how far apart are, are Bob's house, which is over here, and Scott's house, which is right there, okay? So what information do we need to find? Well, we need to uh, find the distance from Bob's home to Scott's home. And what information are we going to use? Well, Bob and Scott started at the same point, which was school. And Bob rides uh, three blocks west and three blocks south. And Scott goes four blocks east and three blocks south. All right. And then how are we going to use this information? Well, we're going to go ahead and use a coordinate plane with the school at the origin. And then we can trace each student's ride home and then mark where their home is. And then we can determine uh, the distance between their homes. No problem. Okay, so so here it is right here. So uh, it says uh, Bob's home is three blocks west and uh, three blocks south. So um, these are going by ones. So we're going to go three squares to the left and then three squares down right there. Okay, so there's Bob's home at negative three, negative three. And then Scott goes four blocks east and then uh, three blocks south. So we're going to go four blocks east, which is four squares, and then three blocks south. So there's Scott's home right there. Okay, and then 
Uh, so the horizontal distance from Bob's house to the y-axis is the absolute value of this uh, negative 3 right there, which is going to be, what's the absolute value of negative 3? It's equal to 3. So this distance is 3. Remember, distance is always positive. So even though this coordinate is a negative, we always take the positive value to find distance right here. And then Scott's home is uh, the absolute value of 4, which is just 4 right there. So their, their, uh, their distance uh, apart is 3 plus 4 which is seven units or seven squares or in this case seven blocks apart okay all right you guys i hope that makes sense and take care there's good old bob and his ice cream truck take care